Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. I actually just uploaded episode 4 today, um, and just, you know, from being excited about uploading it, plus I've been dealing with, um, just crappy news regarding, like, fraud investigations of my ex and stuff, so I wanted to be in a better mood, and so why not play video games? Uh, so where we last left off, you didn't watch episode 4, or you need a recap. Uh, basically, shit hit the fan. <laughs> We had to go light a beacon um, to symbol that the reinforcements for the Blight could come in, and um, Loghain decided after we lit the beacon that he wanted to retreat, which I knew he was shady from the start. Um, so King Kaelin ended up dying, so did Duncan. Pretty much every man on that battlefield got slaughtered because Loghain decided to retreat his troop. Thank goodness <laughs> Flemeth, the old witch of the woods, uh, decided to save Alistair and I and my dog. So now we've decided to take it upon us to try and unite the lands and stop the blight. But of course, Morgan, who I like to refer to as Tits McGee, um, will be joining us now. So that's going to be interesting. I want to see how this dynamic works. Like romance-wise, I definitely feel like I could be hot after Alistair. He is baby daddy after all. But having Tits McGee will definitely add to the dynamic. To be honest, I'm just running around and seeing... It, I don't know, it's weird. Like, when I jump into the game, I feel like I have to just quickly learn how to play again. Once I get more comfortable with it, um, I'll know. And part of me wants to have separate save files to kind of learn how to play on my own. Because it's very different when you're, you know, sitting here and you're focused in silence. And you're, you know, exploring every aspect of the game versus when you're worried about making conversation or how you look. Or making sure that you're in a time constraint for editing sake. So... So it looks like we're going to the small- oh, we're just gonna fast travel there. At least it's not like Skyrim where you have to make the long venture there and then you can fast travel. I mean, this game was made back in like 2009, so... <laughs> Denarum. Oh, hey, there's that asshole. I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Mm-hmm. Call it out. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand <laughs> this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. If it's day one of you being regent, your people Let already have a problem with you. Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here. Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? <laughs> yeah, you don't seem too distraught that your man's gone. Guess it's because daddy has power now. Oh, who's here? Hi. Hello. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh... They don't look much like their mothers, you know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. <coughs> now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. You should listen to your friend, we're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons. And this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henry. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, <laughs> right. 
Even if you're no refugee, you still got a pay. You know, I thought you were cute, and then you opened your mouth and your voice was annoying. And you trying to rip people off to cross a bridge is a little even more annoying, so I have a problem with you. Forget it, I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. <laughs> Baby boy, I'm gonna be ransacking your corpse. Nice try, though. You know what? Let's try intimidating him. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did she say she's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Dan Logan put quite a bounty on any who are found. What do you say, gents? That kind of bounty we can retire. Let's be heroes to the kingdom. Okay, retire to your death, bro. Oh, hi, we're just gonna jump right into this. Wow, okay. You know, we could have made this a lot less messier if you would have just let us go. <laughs> this shoddy operation is pathetic. I could do better. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Start running and don't come back. Wow, yeah. Bless you. The dark spawn can have this place. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're almost full, y'all. We definitely need to find a place to sell some things. Yep, okay, so... Let's see. I don't need... Alright, now that that's out of the way... We're still gonna have to clear out more space soon. Well, there it is. No doing. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. <laughs> No, it's like I said in the uh, last episode, I definitely feel like this event has humbled Alistair, and I don't know. I, I wouldn't wish what we've just gone through on anybody. I think Morgan does need to lighten up just a little. The bad bitch persona is hot, it works, but <laughs> let's be a little bit more empathetic. What did you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Honestly, I have no idea what to suggest, so let's ask Alice there. This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Not yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Major. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. No, we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. Hello, I have the brain of a goldfish. I'm gonna write this down. Theoretically, I should've been taking notes or something in the store. Or even just like learning how to play taking notes. Also, not sponsored, but these Pilot G2 pens are the greatest pens you will ever use in your life. God bless. Alright, so first things first, Arl Eamon. He'll be at Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Alright, let's figure out about the elves. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. And the doors? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. And the Magi? That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter. 
whoever that is. What is with mages and towers on lakes? It just gives me RuneScape vibes. <laughs> um, and what about Logan? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, yeah. of course. Which, I mean, we know he's in Denerim because we saw that. So it looks like literally all the options we have, this city that we're in right now is kind of like a center point. And think of like a compass rose. We have somewhere to be in the east, the west, the north, and the south. It sounds like the east of the forest of the elves might be easiest. And the doors, he said, to the west is going to be a little bit harder. Um, I don't need any more directions. Then you have a plan. Is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weissalp's fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Why are you leaving it up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Aliman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. And what do you think, Morgan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming. And it's <laughs> not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. I mean, I'm kind of with Alistair on that one. I think just running headfirst into the enemy is not the greatest idea. <laughs> I'm not sure any of this is a good idea. No, I do think the elves to the east is what we're probably going to try to do first. So I'm ready. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Yes, and I need to sell things and possibly buy things. There's people over here. Um, it's about the map. Give me, oh, of course it's not completely. All right, so looking at the map, we've got the Frostback Mountains, which is where we're supposed to go for the dwarves. Redcliffe Castle is also over that way. Daenerim, that's where Loghain is. The forest is where the elves are. And where did we say the mage's tower was? The circle tower right there. Okay. So it seems that everything is off to the west. Most of what we need to do is off to the west. The north is obviously where the, our current enemy is right now. I definitely think knocking the east out first is probably going to be the best idea. And then from there we can do everything to the west. And then I think taking on Loghain after we've kind of beefed up a little and gotten some allies will be the last point of interest for us. And I'm sure we're going to get distracted with side quests and whatnot along the way. So let's start talking to people. I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? Um, bro, no offense, but those bandits uh, would still be here right now collecting money from you if it weren't for me. So, shut up. Who are you? So you small. Yes, I'll protect you. Oh my god, can I just adopt you? Hi, hello. Will you protect us? Yes, baby girl, yes. Me and baby daddy and tits McGee will protect you with every last fiber of our being. I'm gonna find somebody I can sell something to. Let's see. Not going on. I think this is just refugee camp. Just Let's... how smart are Mabari supposed to be anyway? Do you think they understand everything we say? I shall do it. Oh, is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron for all we know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey now. <laughs> There's nothing saying that a moron can't be cute and adorable. Who's the cute and adorable puppy? Stop. What do you need? Um. Ask away. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I think he said Arl Eamon raised him. And that's also, I think, when I looked it up, it was like King Kaelin's uncle or something. So that kind of creates a little tree of relationships for me. I do want to know more about that. Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. 
It's not what I remember you telling Flemeth. Well, if you're going to go and pay attention to the facts, then fine, fine. Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. <laughs> My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was very young. Our Lehman wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respected the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Uh, why did he send you off? Our Lehman eventually married a young woman from Orlais, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. That sounds like a bunch of whining. That's so mean. That's, that's awful. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there. And blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. I feel like I'm in an anime, and like after like a big plot point at the beginning of the anime, you get to know like backstory of your side characters, and we're we're in that episode of an anime. Do you think it'll help us? All I know is that the Arl is a good man, and well loved by the people. He also was King Kaelin's uncle. There we go. So he has a personal motivation to see Logan pay for what he did. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story. Huh? Oh, Alistair approves. <laughs> I noticed this in the last episode when I did the version first where my microphone was off, so you guys didn't get to see this, but I discovered, like, oh, cool, so you've got your, you know, relationship meter. So we're at plus two with Alistair at the moment. And let's check in with... Oh, my doggo! Hi, boy! Can you do something about this gory mess? Let me pet him. It does say, do you see anything interesting? I wonder if he can point me in, like, the right direction for quests and stuff. And let's get more against the fan service. What do you wish of me? And I think there's two differences. There's I'd like to ask you something and I'd like to discuss something personal. Let's try asking or something. If you must. Did you grow up in the wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? You could if you wanted to. <laughs> oh, what luck. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. And you kept going back. Would you not do the same? Your world is an unforgiving and cold place. The wilds I hail from is home to me and I a natural denizen. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be... overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. I want to, like, crack open her tough shell. Were you hurt? Was I hurt? What manner of simpering weakling do you take me for? Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped and began shouting in his strange language. Most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. I mean, that was quick thinking. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. <laughs> I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. 
Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, tis not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? <laughs> what do you mean by touching? To begin with, yes. What is the point of touching my hand? I find it an offensive intrusion. There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes. How to eat at a table. How to bargain without offending. None of these things I knew. I still do not understand it all, truth be told, but then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. I'm gonna grab a sweater real quick, guys. It gets, like, really cold here at night, um, especially because I just got out of the shower, so I have wet hair, so I was like, oh, no, we need a jacket. Um, I'm glad it worked out this way. Yes? Let's ignore the entire Darkspawn threat and the presence of a simpleton as your only other Grey Warden ally, then. Not that I lack appreciation for the intent of your comment. Thank you. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? <laughs> Morgan approves plus six. Dang, she's easy for me to impress. Alistair's gonna be a tough nut for me to crack, I guess. Also, it's 11-11 at night, guys. Make a wish. Alright, but where do we go from here? This, are they sick? What's going on here? Okay, noted. So we are not welcome, even though, you know, we're going to be what's stopping these people from dying out anyways. Yeah, I find it funny that these refugees are like, um, you know, leave us alone. We want to get away from the fighting, but the fighting is going to come to you eventually before it's too late. I was looking for some news, actually. Though it's probably just frightened gossip. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Thanks for the warning. Good luck wherever you might go. Are you like completely stopping me from getting in? Because I need to sell some things, bro. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your class. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. <laughs> it warms the heart. Oh... You there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people. He is charging outlandish prices. The thing people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. I mean, yeah, I think, you know, you can still make a profit and lower your price in a time of crisis, bro. And hear more belly aching? I'd rather take my goods back to dinner. Alright, let's uh, be intimidating then. You wouldn't dare. I'm leaving. Go if you like, but the wagon stays. And who's gonna make me leave? You? I hope the dark spawn choke on your cheap hides. Ah. I suppose it couldn't be helped. Make her help us all. I mean, I don't. Um, I don't know how I feel about that interaction because I feel like if I would have kept that dude, I could have sold him the ton of crap that I have. But at the same time, like, 
I mean, I get it. Like, these people are dying, bro, and, like, the blight's coming in hot. <laughs> like, just let people eat. I feel like it's gonna be a quest. I want to go home. They're robbed? Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? What happened? We thought it would be safer in Lothary. But the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few wells. Can you help us? Um, yeah, I drove away those bandits, bro. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Oh. I've met some, like, cool-ass elves so far, the few that I've met. Ooh, what is that? Alcohol, bit. <laughs> I'm already starting to get full of my inventory again. Is that a spare quest? I just accepted it, I don't even know what it is. Three bandit groups in the northern wood. Cool. Well, when I get to the northern wood, they are gonna have a problem. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit them. I'll have what he's having. Mm, yeah, watch where you throw your accusations, bro. Please stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! Don't be a fool. No! I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! Yeah, standing and shouting's not gonna do anything, dude. Could you cluck like a chicken when you do that? No, yeah, we fought off worse. Are you calling me a coward? Mm, yeah. Calling you an idiot. But that's close enough. I, I have shamed my ancestors. Mm -hmm. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope, bro. Come on. Our courage. But there's nothing we can do. I mean, if that's what you believe. Then, what shall we do? We must try to go north somehow. The evil shall descend upon us! Oh, can I kill him? Can I? Please, kill him. Please. Oh, I can definitely destroy shit like this. See, I need to actually go through my stuff. No, I don't have one of these, I don't think. Cool, we'll take it. I just want to sell things, man. I have no idea where we're at time-wise in this episode. Usually I keep track of it, but I've been absorbed into some storylines. Oops, um, can I sell things? I really just want to sell some stuff, bro. There's word of dark spawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon it. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. What up? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how Ooh. are you? I he was too. you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Al Eamon were well, he'd set him on his screen soon enough. If he were well? What, what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Oh. Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. That makes me want to go and 
talk to the Jarl first. I'm going to say Jarl like I'm playing Skyrim. I want to talk to the Jarl first now because like, he's like a dad for Alistair, so like, that's kind of sad. I was actually hoping to meet the guy. Why is that, if I may ask? Do I be honest? Um, or do I not say? I'll go ahead and be honest. I see. The Jarl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Logain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Mm -hmm. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Can you give any advice? If Arl Eamon were well, I have little doubt he would assist you. My quest, however, remains the same. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Um, so, I'm gonna make a note real quick. So it sounds like if I get these ashes and they're legit, that'll help the Arl out. So let's learn more about that. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I'd like to hear what you learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon, and tell the Arlesa exactly that, once Sir Henrik arrives. It says your friend Sir Henrik's dad has something of his, but I don't remember what that is. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Oh, we got that mercy. from the bandits. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Is there a reward? No, I drove off those bandits. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Is your quest brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Shouldn't you be fleeing the dark spawn? My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. I wanted to offer to help with the quest for the ashes. I don't know if... Should I chose that dialogue option, or should I just find that same scholar that he's going to be looking for? Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, y'all, I've never been a fan of church, so... I don't think there's really anything else here for me. And someone else in a sermon. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go. I think that's all we have to do in here. I feel like a lot of stuff has been dialogue, and I'm, I'm kind of okay with it, because we've got a lot of, like, backstory and a lot of information to sift through, but... I know that can be boring for some. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My half is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Hello to you, too. <laughs> Creepy. I'm just gonna smile back. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devon. <laughs> he touched in the head. What's the chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the Maker. So it's kind of like a vow of silence? Unless it's the chant of light? No. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andrasse. The Maker is a righteous ass. The Shander says what? Alright, farewell. I already accepted your cast on the board anyways, dude. And onward we go. I love the dynamic between them. I feel like I would ship them. It's one of those, like, love-hate relationships. Where they kind of grow on each other. Help? There's a helpful refugee. Why is that? You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Why is the tavern full? For the same reason the Chantry's full. Packed with people who fled their homes. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors. But he can only fit so many, and those soldiers are getting restless. Tell me about them. They're not here to defend us. 
They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. Good lord. I wonder if they're deserters from the king's army. You seem unhappy. Is there any reason to be happy? With the king dead, them darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. Wasn't you, was it? Mm, yeah, that was me. It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! Make me famous. Come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. Maybe now y'all stop being dicks to me. Alright, let's check out the tavern. Look what we have here then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh oh. Logan's men. Mm. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen her. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than yeah. that. That. Yes, they are Carway's sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Yeah, let's let's work this out, boys. I doubt you would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I served him gladly. Enough talk. So you're a deserter. Into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right, let's make this quick. No, oh, boys, how the boots taste? What do you wish of Oh, I didn't mean to talk here in the middle of a fight. Oops. <laughs> Oh, I can right, right. It's hard to tell which one's me at first. Can we... Can I land a hit on somebody? Why am I running in circles? Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? We know what really happened. I'll tell him right away now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. How'd you learn to fight like that? I wasn't born in the chunky, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. I don't wanna ask. <laughs> yeah, what it was, was. What do you mean by was? I joined the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest. Not even an initiate. Well, I'm Alora. It's a pleasure to meet you. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? Yeah? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Did your mama ever teach you how to ask? Um, why so eager? The maker told me to. Yeah, can we? I mean, I, I would say welcome aboard, but can we explain, please? I, I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. <laughs> Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos. Will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Honestly, what's the point of saying now? Because, like I said, this is like my whole thing is the blight's coming no matter what. People can either bury their head in the sand, pretend it doesn't exist, but we know firsthand it's coming. And if she would rather help than bury her head in the sand, what, what am I to do to stop her? Oh, okay, so now I can switch people out. So she's a little bit of a rogue. So, rogues help me open chests. We're all level 6. She's level 7. My doggo is level 5. As much as I love my doggo, I think I want to switch them out. Can you switch yourself out? I feel like they're really weird. No. Um... I mean, why would I want to switch out Baby Daddy and Tits McGee? What do we call her? We don't, we don't name her. We got Baby Daddy and Tits McGee. Wait, 
la 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 no no um i don't even know she's like a sassy ginger i love that um do i want to be offensive and call her fire crotch i actually love redheads <laughs> it's just me joking um yeah we'll call her fire crotch so welcome to the team fire crotch it's me fire crotch and baby daddy and what y'all don't know is my nickname is bitch baby Alright, I see chest in here, so let me see if we can try that out now. Allow me. Is it... Yes! So if I switch to her... God bless, we can open chest. Large clear natural crystal, ooh, take. That... Literally the one like main thing I've been bitching about this whole time I can finally get rid of. Can I talk to this guy? What's going on? You're gonna make more trouble? We've about all we can stand in loathering now. It's not what I'm here for. Well, those boys were trouble themselves, to tell the truth. Yeah. Right then, name's denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we before perhaps. Have you heard any rumors? I hear news from Dinnerham that Tian Logang has been declared the new regent. Makes sense. His daughter being the queen. Anything else I can get you? You have any more information? It's not just dark spawn in the horde, you know that? There are people, folks who are sick with the blight, and their minds are all twisted and mad. I heard tell of a man meeting his own brother on the field, yet when he called out to him, didn't even recognize him and just attacked. Anything else I can get you? <laughs> Spooky story. Oh, by the way, is there anything else? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get going. Luck speed your way. I feel like I'm close to an hour for this episode, which it won't feel like it for you guys because I edit out a good bit. So it doesn't look like there's much left to do here. Except talk to this bar, Barlin dude. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then I think it's what I'm gonna end the episode. <laughs> I heard what you did with the other merchant. Got what he deserved. <laughs> I was all still on that food to sell. Show me what you got. Finally! <laughs> I'm so glad I've been waiting this. I have way too much crap. Okay. This is what I have. I don't have poison making, does... What's your notes? I don't know. I can always get more of it later, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Sell. Just, you know what, just, just sell it. Just sell it. I'm sure that I'm gonna get flack for <laughs> getting rid of some of this stuff. We'll keep that, because that's part of our heritage. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably gonna get flack for getting rid of some of this stuff because it's probably gonna end up being importante. But to be fair, I don't think I've encountered any of these like crafting, like crafting the items that I've gotten so far. So we'll definitely hold on to that. We'll go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff now. I just feel like I'm getting rid of stuff that I'll probably end up needing, and I don't like that feeling. I feel like this would be something. I guess it's a gift that I can give to Morgan. I feel like she'd like that a lot. I feel like I still have a crap ton of stuff. Um, I don't know if I should be getting stuff for my party members or not. I don't know. I've never encountered a game like that. I mean, I guess I can always come back. Um, now that I can sell things, I'm very happy. <laughs> And I definitely know we've been pushing almost an hour with this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Um... Kind of sorry that not a whole lot has happened, but it's good to kind of just sit back and process everything that we've been through and kind of get to know the people that we're going to meet along the way, too. Uh, so I hope to see you guys in the next episode.